There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep, and suddenly God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified, and the angel said, Don't be afraid, I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody around the world. A Savior has been born in David's town, a Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises, glory to God in the highest, for, 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 who has come to all men and women for the, to the earth. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherders talked it over. Well, let's go to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the, ba the baby lying in the manger. Seeing, you see, was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child, and all who heard the sheep herders were very impressed. I don't know if you know much about sheep herders, but in the ancient world, 2,000 years ago, in the ancient world, they were almost considered outlaws. They are always roaming around the hills, and uh, so the people in the town were very, very suspicious of them and very reluctant to be anywhere around them when they were in town. And you might understand that outlaw thing. Okay? Some of you might understand that outlaw thing. That you feel like you are on the margins of the society, of our society, because of what has happened in your life and how you're living that life. And so... These outlaws, these shepherds, who does God tell this good news to? The shepherds were the first. The absolute first ones to hear about the birth of the baby. So God, you see, doesn't go to necessarily those that are um, sort of white middle class folks. God went to the outlaws. God went to the hills and sent angels to tell the story. And there they were on the hillsides. And all around them shone this, this incredible experience that they had. The spiritual, spiritual awakening that we talk about in step 12. They had a spiritual awakening that they were overwhelmed that God would come to them first. And so I take that story in this Advent season and I apply it to our lives today and to your life. If you've ever felt like you've been on the margins and no one cared about you and no one listened to you and in fact people wanted you to be on the hillside so they'd have nothing to do with you, this story tells you how much God loves you absolutely unconditionally because they were the first ones to hear the good news and so may you know in your heart that God does love you unconditionally Pete and Bill and Shannon have been telling you that and it is a story we all need to hear that we are first in God's heart each one of us gathered in this place there are no outlaws in God's world there are just human beings who struggle, who make mistakes, who go down paths that maybe they shouldn't go down. But God is always with us, and God is always loving us. May this story, this Advent story, you'll find it in Luke chapter 2. If you've got your big book over here, maybe you might have your recovery Bible over here. And it's Luke chapter 2, and you'll find the story there. May you find yourself in the story and know that God loves you unconditionally, unconditionally.